Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating two possible ways to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 without losing any of your files, folders or applications. If you already have an activated Windows 10, then this process is entirely free and requires no additional license. But if your Windows 10 is not yet activated, then you will need to do that first before proceeding with the process. Another key factor to consider is the issue of compatibility or system requirements for Windows 11. A very significant portion of the computers currently in use may not support Windows 11 the way Microsoft intended. I'll be talking more about that in a moment. Of course, there are ways to bypass these requirements and still install Windows 11 on the computers that do not meet the stated requirements. I'll be demonstrating that in another tutorial and also talking about what you should know if you choose to use that approach. Here we will be focusing on the scenario where your computer meets the minimum system requirements for running Windows 11, how you can upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 in such scenario directly without losing your files, folders or applications. And now without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing is to check to see if your computer meets the minimum system requirements for running Windows 11. A quick way to do that is to head over to your Start menu, click on the gear icon to open the Settings page. On the Settings page, click on Update and Security. Here you should have a notification telling you whether or not your PC meets the system requirements for running Windows 11. If you don't see this notification immediately, then click on Check for Updates to see if it will show up. If it still doesn't show up, then you can use this PC Health Check app provided by Microsoft to check if your PC meets these requirements. I will leave a direct link to download this app down in the video description. Now if this notification shows up for you, then you can also click on this Get PC Health Check link to take you to the page where you can download the app. Either way, it will take you to this page. Here click on Download PC Health Check app and you should see the app downloading shortly. It's a light application about 40 megabytes in size. After downloading, simply click to run, accept the license terms and hit install. Then hit finish to open up the app. You should see a page like this pop up. Here it says let's check if the PC meets the system requirements for Windows 11. So here just click on check now and shortly after you should have this pop up showing you whether or not your PC meets the Windows 11 requirements. In a case where it doesn't, just like we have here, it should say the specific limitations of the PC and why it cannot run Windows 11. For this PC, Secure Boot is not currently enabled and to do that, the PC must support UEFI boot mode. And next, you have this TPM 2.0 requirement and also the processor doesn't support Windows 11. I wouldn't get into much details about these requirements now. I will explain them further in the next video where I will talk about how to get around them and still install Windows 11 on such devices. I will add a link to that video in the description once available. Another way to check if your PC meets the requirements for running Windows 11 is to check if your processor is among the Windows 11 supported processors listed by Microsoft. I will leave the links to these pages down in the video description. For Intel processors, you can search on this page and for AMD processors, you can search on this page. These are very long lists, so you can simply hit Ctrl F to open the Find dialog box, then type in the model of your processor to see if it exists on the page. To see your processor model, simply right click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Then click on the Performance tab. And here I have my processor model. So here I have Intel Core i7-3610QM, which is a third generation processor. Generally, you need eighth generation or later to be able to run Windows 11. So if I hit Ctrl F on this Intel list, then start typing the processor model. Here I can see that it doesn't exist on the list, so it's not supported. The second factor to consider when upgrading from Windows 10 to 11 is the activation status of your Windows 10. If your Windows 10 is not activated, then you need to activate it first before you can upgrade to Windows 11 for free. To purchase a Windows 10 license, you can head over to Prime Tech Mart. They offer Windows and other software licenses at reduced costs. They also have various Office packages, including the most recent Office 2021, both for Mac and Windows. So if you are interested in any of those, you can check them out. They also offer Windows 11 licenses, both Home and Pro editions. So if for some reason you want to install Windows 11 directly on a new build, then you can also use that to activate. You can use the promo code ET20 for a 20% discount on any of their licenses. I will leave their links down in the video description. 
Now, after checking that your PC meets the minimum system requirements and that your Windows 10 is activated, then you can follow any of these two methods to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11 for free. Here, I need to mention that these two methods are very similar. Basically, these are just two different starting points for performing the upgrade. The actual steps are generally the same. So to keep the video from being too long, I'm going to show the starting point of the first method and then perform the full upgrade using the second method. With that said, the first method is through the Windows Update feature from System Settings. Now I will switch over to a laptop that meets the minimum requirements for running Windows 11 so I can demonstrate this process. Here I have this Acer Nitro 5 with 8th generation Intel processor. I will head over to the Update and Security page. To do that, go to the Start menu and click on the gear icon to open the Settings page. Here click on Update and Security. Now that should bring you to this Windows Update page. Now if you have your update set to run automatically, then you should already have some information here regarding the system compatibility with Windows 11. If not, then click on this check for update and wait for the update to return the required information. Of course, you will need an internet connection for this. Now for some users, you will have a blue button below this information which says download and install. That is if your system meets the requirements. Now this is not the case for most users. If you don't see this blue button saying download and install, then you should follow the second method to perform the upgrade process. If you have the blue button, then simply click on it. It should pop up the software license terms. Click on accept and install to begin the upgrade process. All other steps from there are similar to what you will find in the second method. The second approach is by using the Windows 11 installation assistant provided by Microsoft. I will leave a direct link to the download page down in the video description. The link should take you to this page here under Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on the download now button. This will immediately download the Windows 11 installation assistant. It's a very light tool so it should download almost immediately. After downloading, simply click to run. Hit yes on the user account control. It should start off with the same license terms as shown in the first method. Simply click accept and install to begin the process. That should immediately start downloading the Windows 11 installation files as the first of three steps. Now this could take some time depending on the speed of your internet connection. For me, it took about 18 minutes to complete. Afterwards, the second step is just to verify the download. That takes less than a minute. Then it moves on to the third step which is the actual installation. Now the time it takes to complete this depends a lot on your PC specifications. For this computer, it took about 14 minutes to complete. And then it gets to this stage where it points out any apps or settings that need to be changed before proceeding with the installation. Here it requires that VMware be uninstalled before proceeding. So I will simply click on install and hit yes to remove it. Of course that's because I don't need it anymore. You should check and be sure it's an app you no longer need before uninstalling. Now this requires a restart. So ensure you have your work saved before restarting. Then hit yes to restart. After restarting, simply run the installation assistant once again. Now this will not start the download all over again. It will simply verify the download and start the installation right away. From here, you just need to sit back and wait patiently until it prompts you to restart your PC once again. For me, that took about 25 minutes. Here you can save your work and hit restart now. Upon restarting, you will have update installations and other finishing processes. That for me took about another 6 minutes or so and thereafter you should arrive at your new Windows 11 desktop. Now I'll go ahead and verify the activation status of my Windows 11 to ensure it inherited my Windows 10 activation. To do that, simply open your file explorer, click on this PC. On the top menu, click on the three dots to the right and select properties. On the page that shows up, scroll down to where it says related settings and click on product key and activation. 
and here it says you have Windows 11 Pro and the activation state says active. And when you click on it, it says Windows is activated with a digital license. And there you have it. We have successfully upgraded from Windows 10 to Windows 11 for free. And that is it for this tutorial. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.